Some random facts you might want to know when it comes to crystals. Number one, whenever you're receiving a new crystal, whether you're purchasing it or getting it as a gift, always a good idea to cleanse it, whether you're using sage, the sun, the earth. At minimum, you want to run them under the tap, cold water, assuming that it's not going to damage the crystal. For instance, you wouldn't want to do that with selenite or black tourmaline but you want to cleanse them some way. Early on in my spiritual journey, I purchased a fluorite crystal skull, and what I didn't know is that someone had placed a demonic energy into it. When I brought it home, you know, my son's toys started going off on their own, breakers started blowing, and my son, who was only a few years old at the time, started telling me how he started seeing all these shadow beings running around the house, and I had to get a shaman in to clear these energies, but, uh, you know, at the time I didn't realize just how important it was to cleanse your crystals so keep that in mind the ocean is the best in my opinion but do something there's some hawks out there trying to eat my crows and squirrels i had to save a squirrel's life not too long ago from a hawk number two i have a six inch quartz crystal <laughs> and uh I have a large quartz crystal and one time this thing I was communicating I was talking to it and it sent pulse waves to my ears which actually felt like it, my eardrums burst so crystals are conscious they're high vibrational you know I had Archangel Michael appear head to toe one time in this same quartz crystal that sent me the pulse waves they're high frequency some people think they're bad but they're from mother nature and I often get guided to go to the ocean just to receive messages because there's large amounts of quartz in the area it makes it high vibrational easier to communicate with your guides so despite some beliefs that crystals are negative you know they're kind of like a tool that can be used whichever way you know depending on the beholder right the third random fact about crystals when it comes to wearing bracelets what hand should you wear what crystal on well what i've learned from working with shamans for over 10 years is that our left side receives energy and our right side sends energy so when it comes to wearing crystals on your left hand you want to wear your darker protective stones you know maybe your tiger's eyes can be tiger's eye can be a little bit lighter but for the most part your darker crystals are protecting you and the energy that's coming in on your right hand you want to wear your you know manifestation crystals because you're sending that energy out it's also good to know that once you fully realize that you are god incarnated you actually don't need any crystals I often get people asking me what crystals do you wear it's a good idea to remember that you should never wear a crystal because someone that you you know admire or respect is wearing pay attention to your gut what crystal is calling you because what someone else is wearing might not be the most beneficial crystal for you and just know that you know it is really a placebo effect crystals work they're high vibrational do they do have properties but it's the fact that you're focusing in on it that's creating that reality for you so if you're wearing your blue tiger's eye crystal and you're like oh i'm protected you know it's enhancing that but in reality real protection comes from your connection with god if you're aligned to god if you're aligned to doing god's work then he's going to see you as a valuable asset and he's going to place protection on you when it comes to crystals you know they need to be looked after they're kind of like a pet you got to cleanse them you got to communicate you got to talk to them another thing to remember that's very important if you've ever received a crystal as a gift from someone if you are no longer friends with that individual and even on another note if you know for instance they do not have your best interest it is extremely important to get rid of that crystal i had a woman give me a quartz crystal you know that was sending me death spells that had her own son commit suicide and she was using this crystal to tap into my energy of my house and as soon as i found out how lost and demonic this soul was i decided to chuck that crystal into a moving stream and cleanse it into the earth and just cut the cords between that very lost soul so despite how much you may have fallen in love with the crystal that you received as a gift get rid of it if the person does not have your best interest 
Just wanted to say thanks to everybody that's gone out and purchased a copy of my new biography, Finding Me, where I talk about, you know, growing up, my struggles that I faced that eventually led to an attempted suicide 2014, where I met Archangel Michael for the first time. Links in the bio. You can purchase it on Amazon for $9.99, or you can get the hardcover for a little bit more. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.